what's up guys welcome back again this is another android playlist i have added today on my channel here and in this playlist i will be uh, keep on doing the paid apps review for the android so starting from here our first app we will see here is just called solid explorer file manager as you see here this is a paid app and you can get that uh, the base premium version at just 20 rupees 99.99 you can say less than a dollar too and i've been using this app from complete feature and i did found a lot of good things here and with a couple of limitation i will discuss that thing here so here's our app which is the icon here's named solid explorer still get, just get inside here and this is what it looks like now the best feature of this app is uh, it is designed uh, based on the material design concept that you will be getting this simple hamburger layout and this is standard you get setting option here you can add all the options here you got collections toolbox bookmarks all the root explorer internal storage google drive whatever drive you want to add that so you will get this thing and this is definitely optimized if you select the black theme here if you just get inside let me give you overview of this how the settings look like you can change the completely thing here if you have ips lcd panel you can use white if you have amulet panel you can use black otherwise you can use dark too so black optimizes uh, for the amulet so definitely save battery and use that and other uh, features here inside you can see you can change the navigation bar option you can set the zooming terms and there's also live stuff i will discuss later you can also add a master password for your cloud drive and network storage so that is very nice here now first of all uh, first property we already discussed it is based on material design and second important property guys there is uh, two set of windows i haven't seen any such file explorer which offers such feature so this is here this is the first window you can uh, do any stuff here for example i went inside this uh, uh, adobe clip here now if i just swipe here this is another uh, window in which you can work separately you don't need to bother about that one just get inside this download and if you just swipe here you will came back to same adobe clip here if you just came here you can come to same window you can uh, do any stuff here whatever you want in the separate window. for example if you are doing two tasks together you can run two tasks in parallel they won't be interacting each other it's completely separate and uh, if you just get inside this uh, video thumbnail here, uh, it this uh, app shows uh, you know all the video file uh, as a live tile. For example, uh, live thumbnail you can say I'm just taking terms of the Windows Phone here. Uh, if you, if you just go inside this uh, DCIM and uh, suppose this is here, so you can see all things are playing in that way. And this another uh, property here. If we just go inside this here and go this view option so it's suppose a lot of ways you can organize your uh, files and folder and the good thing it has it only supports only for this folder if you want to do it for all the folder you can do it otherwise if you want to change the layout for this folder suppose i this is a video i want to make it a big tile thumbnail so i just select a gallery only this folder so you can see it's completely big in this way you can easily uh, get to know about this folder here and you can easily change uh, whatever you want here also you can change compact and everything you can do that so this is the next property now guys there is another property here uh, if you want to select any detailed properties you can easily uh, select a lot of uh, information of your file you can see this is a video thumbnail it is going in that way all right now if you just uh, see guys here and uh, just going here to this uh, uh, properties it will show a very detailed information for all the stuff so you can see first of all folder information exact location size everything else here and content wise you can see what are the content inside that one here and uh, it also browse actually you can see all the thumbnails are playable here. even on the content and file tabs it shows what kinds of files are there top 20 files that you have accessed here it will show all the things here so it shows very detailed information that is why i like about this file manager now i'm getting inside here again and this file manager has a feature of uh, you know uh, even looking inside the uh, zip files archives files without even extracting them so let me show you here if you just go inside this app demo soil explorer here is the uh, zip file here this is actually a uh, nexus launcher set of file which i have installed on my nexus 6 feet if you just go inside you can see easily you can go inside and view that here and you can also even extract it here if you just select it here select uh, extract it will select everything is done here so now it is done you come back here you can see you got your folder extractor you can even create a extractor zip file here if you just click here and you can just do an archive it will create archive in the save folder you can also password protect those archives so in case you want to so this is also another important feature and 
let me show you how much types of cloud storage support so if you just go here and click on this plus and new cloud connection so it shows most of the stuff so mostly people use google drive in case you are gmail user otherwise onedrive so i using post so i use that dropbox also is popular and other stuffs lot of stuffs are there in case uh, you want to more there are plugins you can buy or very cheap cost and add that to but for me this is for i guess for majority of the people these two are fine and once you add that it will show exactly you can configure the name to exactly so how much size is left for your google drive for example my one drive has 130 gigabytes of space it suggests 6 gigabytes consume google drive 17 gigabytes and internal storage it also has a root explorer you can easily go inside the setting and you can select option show root storage or not so you can easily disable that and it does browse all the stuff here so a kind of nice stuff here and if you just go inside the memory this is there now one of the feature that i left for all you guys to show because this is the most important feature i recommend to use this file manager if you just go inside this uh, app demo here again folder so you can uh, encrypt uh, any of the file here with a password or optionally with a fingerprint if your phone supports to so you can see uh, there was a folder called encrypted.sec if i just create a new folder now if you want to ex uh, you know uh, encrypt that folder just click here and you can show encrypt so it will ask for password to do and optionally you can use fingerprint so that way you can do that so i've already created that so this is uh, my folder that i encrypted here so if i just click here it will ask uh, to get inside and you can see it asking for fingerprint if i just give you it will easily recognize and you can get inside that one and you can also move files and folder any type of files folder you can want you can get inside that one so these are the very very important features guys that i figured out that one and it's definitely a word if you case of in case you like material design and you can change all the color styles folder icon to whatever you want you can change everything customized according to your way now these are all important features that you must be thinking is there any limitation yes there is limitation so one other feature i really miss uh, that's why i need to depend on this uh, asus change my file manager this uh, file manager has an option to uh, transfer your file via Wi-Fi local network to your PC to computer since I am filming most of the videos with my smartphone so I do need to copy a lot of stuff from my computer edited files video files here and there so this is where you can easily connect here with HTTP but uh, this file manager doesn't have this direct support of that one even though it does support these kinds of option for example if you just go and create a new cloud connection here so it has this all ftp ftp connection but that need a dedicated working server you cannot create internal server so that feature i miss here and couple of the internal steps that are not very important this is the only feature i was missing otherwise this is a very perfect file manager overall you can do penny operations so in case you want to buy that it's just 19.99 rupees definitely go and take that out so guys this is all about this file manager and i hope you guys like this video so that's it guys for this video this is sarab and i will catch you very soon Thanks for watching.